What's good YouTube, it's your boy, Musa, back with another video, so um, today is a Wednesday, we're halfway through the week and I woke up at £229 um, at the end of last week, Sunday, which is normally the days I weigh myself, Sunday and Wednesday, so twice a week, um, I was at 230 so we've lost a pound um, and I know for a fact that is body fat and not muscle, um, why? One, my protein intake is very high. I'm keeping it very high. And uh, two, my training is mad. I'm training like a madman and my numbers are going up in the gym. I'm making sure I'm tracking things and pushing real hard. Um, this, if anything, I'll say this is the most successful cut I've had to date. Why? Because obviously I've learned throughout the, over the years um, and I'm not like dropping calories way too far as going into the keto diet because it's my most comfortable diet for me. You know, it just works fast but i do lose a lot of strength and muscle mass when i do cuts like that whereas when i'm keeping my carbs moderate um some days low carb some days high like my rest days i might do low carb day and um, things like that this right now is the most successful it's going very slow but we're heading in the right direction my goal is 220 um so nine pounds to go it's gonna get harder and harder um i'm gonna have to do way more cardio like in the gym i ain't gonna lie to you i ain't done zero like zero minutes of cardio in the gym this week none and i've lost a pound of body fat why because one i'm walking a bit more as you guys have noticed or if you haven't noticed how would you notice i'm already recording it but i have been walking way more uh, right now i'm aiming for like 15 to twenty thousand steps a day so i normally go for a morning walk and everything um and then in the evening do another walk so just movement in general is way more than it used to be. Um, I think I've just come to like my switch in my brain is like, Musa, you're not working at McDonald's anymore. You need to move way more than you did back then. Now, this is where you be sitting most of the days, um, like I've mentioned multiple times. So yeah, walking more. Um, I might start implementing cardio. I'm going to have to eventually do cardio to a point where I'm going to have to do it four or five times a week but you don't need to be doing cardio every day to re reduce body fat it's all about macros the food that you are putting in your body um intermittent fasting is going perfect right now um i'm eating like two three meals a day that's just preference some people like to eat six very small meals throughout the day that's cool but someone like me i prefer to eat two max three just meals bam 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 so that way i could just focus on the work and all that stuff in between the meals that's just my preference. Um, whatever works for you at the end of the day, it is your diet, it's your body. If you understand it, then you're good. Uh, but yeah, today we have leg day and it is my brother's birthday, like I told you guys yesterday. So I'm going to go smash legs, come home, do some drawing and whatnot, and then head out and go get some food. Um, still fasted, just about to take pre-workout and that and knock out this workout. I'm looking forward to it. You guys know me on leg day. I don't really like leg day, but it's a love and hate relationship. You know what? I love you, but I hate you at the same time. That's how I feel about leg day. But I'll see you guys in the gym. Let's go. I, I am definitely passing out one of these days during leg day because oh, oh, this session is a bit too much, bruv. Oh, I'm hurting. I'm broken, I'm broken. I need food. I need nutrition. I need cold air, bruv. It was way too hot, bruv. That was an awesome session, um, but now we need some nutrition. We've got two tortillas, as you can see here. Nice, juicy wraps with three egg whites two whole eggs and a little bit of an onion red onion got some tomatoes up in there 
uh, with a juice of olive oil and two whole eggs with a bit of uh, some red meat, low fat, high protein. Yes, and two scoops of whey protein. As you can see, fairly low carb and fairly low fat um, because my brother's birthday, like I told you, and we're going out to eat. So I was like, you know what? Let me keep this first meal low so that when I go out, I don't restrict myself. I can enjoy it a little bit, um, have a little bit of leniency, over a thousand plus calories um, to eat when I go out. Um, like I said, I only eat two to three meals. So it's going to be this one and then that one. And then I might have a little bit of extra protein in the night just to make sure I hit my protein today. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take you guys with me as well um, to the place we're eating so you can kind of see what I'm choosing and whatnot and what the restaurant looks like. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, that was an experience. That was my first time ever eating Somalian food. Obviously, it was African food from all parts of the world. But we took two Somalian dishes and one um, jollof rice. And then we took plantain and all that exercise, you know. Um, chicken, took, what else did we take from the sides? Samosas, all that samosa was, whee! Samosa was different, so it was a really good meal. I really enjoyed it. Uh, came back and then went for my walk. Um, got around 14,000 steps today um, Solid leg day Tomorrow is a rest day Thank God My body is tired My body is fragile I need some good man rest um, well, The only thing I'll probably do tomorrow Is obviously my walking Get that in But yeah Really rest up the body tomorrow um, Tried the rice today With what? Banana That was the first time ever doing that So that was interesting um, Actually it's a, it's a solid combination I ain't gonna lie um, I didn't expect it to be that good. It actually was solid. Uh, my boy did tell me though, back back like what two two three years ago, my boy did tell me he was like Somalian food slaps. So yeah, trying that out. That was a good experience. Really nice restaurant. If you ever come to Denmark, Copenhagen, um, try it out. Check out that place, Sasa. You will enjoy it. <laughs> really good flavors. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Just so yeah couple days of vlogging um, it seems that you guys are really enjoying the vlogs so yeah give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and I will catch you guys in the next one love life love life love life peace